What did we do to our slash? How's it going guys? Colin here with Trax RC and today we have a bit of a different video because we're gonna show you guys something that we made custom for this slash. So you guys have probably seen this slash on our channel before. This is the slash that we built ourselves. One of the slashes that we built ourselves. Actually, we have two. This is the slash that we take mudding a lot. We like to bash the slash and everything. So recently, we took it mudding and it got super dirty. So we decided to just do a complete rebuild on it. And while we were rebuilding it, we decided to do something a little different with the chassis. So what we did to the slash was a little um, chassis top plate. And we actually made this out of a private property sign that you could get from your local hardware store pretty much anywhere. And what we did was we cut it out to the perfect length and then we drilled holes and put screws through the chassis, as you can see here, and also through the skid plate. And then we backed it with a nut. We also put a zip tie to hold it on up here. It took a lot of time for us to cut out the area where the steering servo goes, and it also took us quite a bit of time to um, cut out the area where the receiver went. We switched out the Traxxas receiver with a Red Cat receiver because it was waterproof, and we didn't want to run a big old receiver box in this RC. So there are a couple reasons why we decided to do this with our slash. The first reason being is because we were bored out of our mind. We had nothing better to do, so we just decided to cut up a piece of metal. The next reason is that we do not care about the slash one bit and we just tried to make it cool and look custom. The next reason is it hides all the wires in the chassis and it also hides how dirty this chassis is. It looks very clean. The last reason is because this makes it more aerodynamic because you guys know how fast this Titan 12 turn motor is. I'm joking, this motor is not fast at all. So to cut this metal we used a simple pair of body cutter scissors because this metal is super super thin so there are also a couple other um, things that we did to the slash when we were rebuilding it we added new shocks with aluminum shock caps and then we also put some energy shock springs that we had left over and we also put a new ESC and motor in because we burnt out the motor um, when we were mudding with it and the ESC just had a ton of problems with it we had no idea what was wrong with it so we're gonna take this outside right now and give you guys some action footage So we just had a blast driving this thing around outside, hitting some jumps and just flying through the grass and the dirt. So we hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Um, be sure to check out our website and if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time on Tracks RC.